Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Canon 250D, also known as the SL Rebel 3. This camera is advertised as the smallest and lightest DSLR camera on the market. Now, this camera, I'm going to say it straight out, if you're new to photography and you're looking for a camera, I am 100% going to recommend this camera to you. It's a great camera, compact, useful, quick, it's great in every way, okay? But we're going to dig deeper into it in this review. So buckle up and get ready to hear everything about this camera. The Canon 250D is a DSLR camera. That means it has a mirror, makes it larger, but that's often what DSLR cameras are for. They're for the feel. Everyone could buy a smaller mirrorless camera nowadays, but I personally love DSLR cameras. I love the feel of them in your hands. The slightly bulkiness of them makes them so fun to use. This camera has dual pixel autofocus. It's a great form of focus and it's very good, especially for videos and vlogging style videos, but it's also great for photography. Now, I don't use this camera to vlog. I use my phone as you're on right now. But this camera is great for photography as well. I do wildlife photography, as you may know, or if you don't know, go watch my videos because I use this camera in every one of my vlogs. It's a great camera, takes amazing photos. It's got a 24 megapixel sensor. So great photo quality. You can zoom in and still get a good image, even if you have to crop it. It's an APS-C sensor which means it's cropped, it's not a full frame camera. The camera has a pop-up flash. This flash, however, is manually popped up. It means you don't have to turn on flash in the camera. To turn the flash on, you simply have to pop it up like that and it will go up. Similarly, you have to push it down to get it to go back, but it's nice and springy, easy to use, so that's not a problem. It saves you faffing around in the buttons trying to find the flash setting. You just do that and the flash setting is on so that's great the camera has a shutter speed between 30 seconds and one four thousandth of a second this covers everything you need however when the pop-up flash is on the shutter speed maximum is one two hundredth of a second the camera has many modes on the top including manual focus auto priority shutter speed priority Intelligent auto, scenery, effects, lots of modes, great for every type of shooting, whether you're just doing it for fun, to get cool stylish effects, or wildlife sport, dramatic landscape portrait photography, it's all in this one camera. This camera has extremely good battery life. I am telling you, it's probably the best battery life on the market. It can shoot up to 1,000 photos and more in one battery. I've taken this camera out photographing for entire days in the wilderness, out in the wild, and it's lasted perfectly fine. I haven't had the issue of it running out of battery. Now, I'm not saying don't carry spare batteries, if you can always carry spare batteries, but you won't need to rely on them because this camera's battery is incredible. Obviously, video will use up the battery faster, but still, it's a great battery life, especially if you're doing photography. The camera has a great viewfinder. There's no problem with that. It has very easy to use controls on the back. There's not too many buttons. You won't get confused, but it has everything you need. The camera has an HDMI port, as well as a mini USB. And on the other side, you have a microphone port and a external shutter port. This means that you can plug a microphone into it and put it on the hot shoe on top. This hot shoe is great, it works well, it's very good at its job, so you don't have to worry about that either. Now just remember, if you have something on the hot shoe, you may not be able to use the flash unless you have it on a tool stand. The camera comes with a flip out LCD screen. This is a great screen, it's got a variety of brightnesses so you can see whether in your whether you're in the bright sun or in the dark. It's rotatable, which means you can pop 
point the camera at you and vlog and see what you're doing. Or you can just have it on the back, but you can flip it round to keep it protected because you don't want a scratched screen. In addition, I have some tempered glass on the screen, which you can add, and there's still room for it once you've put it in. On the bottom, you have the flick. It's a nice and secure flap. It's not gonna come off unless you're extremely aggressive. And then you have the simple battery that comes with it and one SD slot for your card. Opening it up, you can see the mirror inside as well as the sensor behind. Now, I'm gonna close it because I don't want it to get grubby. So, the pros of this camera. The price for what you get is great. It's lightweight, compact and small. It has good focus and it has 4K for if you want 4K videos. The microphone is great and the color is also very good. It has a flippable LCD screen, which you may not see as an advantage, but once you've had one, you will want one forever because this is great when it comes to photography and videos for being able to see everything and get the camera in places where you couldn't get it before. It's compatible with a huge range of lenses. Canon have millions of EF, well, maybe not millions, but a lot of EF lenses, which go on this camera. The camera has lots of inputs, which you can do different things with, so it's got a great variety as well. The camera has a really good battery life, so you don't have to worry about it running out of battery. And finally, it's very comfortable to hold. It just feels nice and compact, but not uncomfortable. The cons of this camera are the build of it is not the sturdiest. Now, take it from me. This build is perfectly fine unless you plan on dropping it down a cliff. Like, it's not going to damage very easily unless you're particularly aggressive. So just be careful with it. And the build is perfectly fine. But some people may see that as a negative. The flash is manual. Again, I don't see it as a bad thing. Some people, however, may not wish to go and flick it up. Some people may wish to press the buttons. And I see how that could be annoying. There aren't millions of buttons on the back, so you do sometimes have to go into the menu and the settings, which can slow you down. Another disadvantage of this camera is it only has one SD port. Some people may see this as a negative. Now, if you're just a casual photographer or a hobbyist, even a semi-professional, like, it's perfectly fine. However, the high-end people who do lots of photography wish to have two SD ports. That means it's backed up, and it's very logical. I see why you'd want it. Now, this camera does only have one SD port. And the final con, potentially, is that it is an APS-C sensor, it's not a full frame camera. This again is not a problem for the price range, you don't expect a full frame and full frame is not always advantageous, but it doesn't have a full frame camera, it is cropped. So some people may see that as a disadvantage. My camera came with a kit lens of the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. This lens simply goes on it by screwing it on. So let's talk about the 4K on this camera because it's advertised as having 4K video and it's not a lie, this camera has 4K video. But the autofocus is not top notch. So if you are a videographer or a vlogger or whatever and you want your videos to be in 4K, you don't have to worry too much as long as you can manual focus because the hunting is the problem. When this camera is using the 4K, it will hunt a lot. However, if you put it on full HD, which is what I shoot on, it's a very good camera. It doesn't hunt much at all, very quick auto focusing due to the dual pixel auto focusing built into the camera. This camera has face recognition as well as eye recognition, which means if you set it up, it will automatically detect your face and your eye if you have the settings on. This means that whether you move forward or backwards from the camera, it will track your eye and keep it perfectly in focus. It's very useful 
because if you don't have someone behind the camera to focus it, the camera will just do it for you. When it comes to audio recording on this camera, there's a slight disadvantage if you're using autofocus because the microphone is right next to the lens. However, the microphone is extremely good. From when I've recorded videos on my camera, the audio picked up has astounded me. As I do wildlife photography, I'll often shoot on my Sigma and I'll be filming a bird a long way away. And yet they're singing and the camera picks it up. So don't get me wrong, the quality and the strength of this microphone is great. It's a very good microphone, however you will pick up lens noise unless you do manual focus. So it's also a good microphone. Canon lenses are known to have a great colour scheme, so if you want vibrant, contrastful, colourful, beautiful, I don't know if contrastful is a word, but I said it. If you want a colourful product full of contrast and beauty, then the Canon is for you, because this camera is great for colour, it picks it up vibrantly, but not over the top, obviously. You can edit it how you like, but it's great when it comes to colour and contrast. It's nice and fresh and detailed, nice contrast, and it's very sharp. Let's talk about the burst mode on this camera, because as a wildlife photographer, I'm often using burst mode, and it's pretty good. This camera will fire off a good 10 photos, and I think it's about eight a second. It's pretty good, pretty fast. So you can get plenty of photos out pretty fast to get every moment of detail that you want. For example, I've photographed herons fishing, and as you see them go in for the fish, burst it, and you'll get a beautiful, almost stop motion. You'll just get photos of every stage. So we've gone through quite a few stats and facts about this camera. Now I'm gonna give you my opinion because I've been using this camera now for about nine months and it's great. So I do wildlife photography, as I've said. I do a bit of portrait and landscape and other things, but wildlife photography is what I mainly do as a hobby. Now, this camera is great because it's small. It's compact, it's lightweight, which means if you're gonna go out for hours at a time hiking or whatever, this camera is great at not being heavy, not getting in the way, and also being easy to handhold because it's not as heavy. When I'm out in the field, I will use this camera with my Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. If you want to know the review for this lens, just click on the link up in the corner. But because it's a big lens, having a tiny camera really helps. This sits on the end, no big deal, very small, makes the whole system much smaller. Also, being small, it helps for a tripod. You don't have to have such a big sturdy tripod and because it's lighter, the weight is not such a problem. I love this camera. This camera has got me through the beginning stages of photography and I'd say that it's taught me everything I need to know. It's really easy to use, but the quality is not diminished. There is such good quality, even with its simplicity. It's light, it's easy to use, it's a very simple but comfortable design. It has a nice rubber grip. It's made of plastic, potentially not the sturdiest camera, but it's sturdy enough and it's not gonna break unless, as I say, you're particularly aggressive. There is a tripod mount screw on the bottom, so you can attach it to a tripod. And overall, it's a great camera. So if you're looking to purchase a camera and you're on a budget, or you're a beginner, or both if you're, if you're, most beginners are on a budget. So that's what I was nine months ago. I was a relative beginner and I didn't have much money to play with and this camera is for you, trust me. It's an amazing camera. It's cheap for what you get and it's great for photography, video, everything. It covers all the bases. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, do everything you can to support the channel. Thanks for watching.